Put a finger down if you have been called a racial slur. Put a finger down if you've been followed in a store unnecessarily. Put a finger down if someone has crossed the street to avoid passing you. Put a finger down if you've had someone clinch their purse in an elevator with you. Put a finger down if you've had someone step off of an elevator to keep from riding with you. I literally was in my car, as you can see from the video, and I grabbed a, a, a pen and a paper, you know, and I said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just write a list of things that I have been through that have been completely related to me based on my race. And I'm like, well, I'll just post it online and encourage people to do it as well so that we can all like compare our experiences. Any fingers left? That's privilege. I get this question all the time. Well, that's the way the elevators work. How would you know if somebody was stepping off the elevator because of you? And I say this all the time. If you have experienced it, you know. And so to see thousands of videos with other people saying, yep, I've had somebody step off an elevator to keep a ride with me. You know, it's an avoidance factor. There's different levels of discrimination, and I wanted people that had not experienced it themselves to also consider had they done it. You know, and, and if you had done it, look at how you're making somebody feel about it. Look at, you know, how you are not being open to just relating to this other person as if they are human. Put a finger down if you've been accused of not being able to afford something expensive. Put a finger down if you have had fear in your heart when being stopped by the police. Put a finger down if you have never been given a pass on a citation that you deserved. Put a finger down if you have been stopped or detained by police for no valid reason. Put a finger down if you have been denied service solely because of the color of your skin. Put a finger down if you have been bullied solely because of your race. Put a finger down if you have been denied service solely because of the color of your skin. I mean, I've had younger kids, you know, I've learned more from you than I've learned from my parents. So you're literally like contradicting the things that I've brought, you know, been brought up with. And that's what we need to do. That's the key. Like we have to reprogram the way we have been brought up, the way we have been raised. Sometimes you gotta just open a book, shoot, Google, anything. Like <laughs> go online, have your own experiences, go out there and meet people, you know, socialize and stuff like that. And, and you'll start to learn something different. Take the privilege that you have and uplift your neighbor. You just need to get back to having some level of empathy and compassion for people and get out of our bubbles. Any fingers left? That's privilege.